Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and we are here for an extended overview of the automatically opening and closing evolution evaluation or evaluation evolution chair. And before we get into all the details of the chair, Toby's gonna to stretch out and we can also show very quickly specifically where to find more information about the chair online, quickandmobile.com, and also our phone number to call. Okay, so in this video, we have a new chair and we're going to go over an extended overview. So we're going to do some measurements. And the first thing that we will do is I'm going to note that the chair is on two kickstand wheels. So if you are wheeling the chair back and forth, you can notice how the back wheel doesn't even actually move. You've got some kickstand wheels here that are adjustable. And this is really neat. One of the features I like in the back of the chair, you actually have another kickstand wheel. And of course, we've got the Durashocking system, two Durashocks in the back. And if we take a look actually at the front of the chair, there's a, a shocking system in the front of the chair as well. So what we're going to do here Let's put the chair down and on the joystick, I'm going to turn the joystick on and I'm going to press the unfold button. Those turn yellow, I'm gonna press the horn. I get three beeps and the chair unfolds all by itself. You can see that happening in real time, the chair's unfolding and we'll take a couple, a look at a few of the things that jump out Right away, we have not just the ability to automatically fold and unfold, but we have a lot of storage built in with this chair. We've got some side storage bags and I have an actual remote control. So I can turn this remote control on and it takes just a, a couple seconds to actually power the remote control on. And once the remote control is on, I have the ability to do a lot of different things with the remote. I can actually operate the chair, so I can go any direction. So a lot of people like this concept of having a remote control, even if you're sitting in the chair and you felt like having something more that you're driving in a situation closer to this rather than this, it gives you the ability to, to do so. And you can even blow the horn while you're on the remote control. So that's an excellent feature for the evolution evaluation or evaluation evolution. People really like that feature. A lot of people have been asking for remote control chairs and a lot of people have been asking for chairs that automatically fold and automatically unfold. Now, the remote doesn't just operate the chair. If I go ahead and connect the, the fold button right there, and I press the down arrow, that automatically folds the chair up. So you can see that the chair folds and unfolds all by itself. I don't need to be anywhere near the chair. Folded, now it's unfolded. Toby is of course very curious about the beeping and very curious about what's going on. He likes it when we get in the chairs. He likes it when we drive around the chairs. And now it's unfolded. So I will put this away just for a couple moments. We'll zip this up few things that I do want to point out about this chair is you have a supported armrest system and the chair itself has the ability to hold up to 400 pounds. So both of those armrests fold up and of course the footrest folds up as well flush to the chair. So it makes it very simple and the basket we can see the basket is a removable basket. I'm going to take the basket off just for now so I have easier access showing you things, but it's a weather resistant basket that you could actually put a, a small um, lock and lock those two pieces together to deter people from easily taking what's inside the basket. So let's go ahead and we'll put the armrests down. We'll lock them in place. A, a lot of people always ask about these chairs. How easy is it to put weight, put pressure on the chair. How easy is it to get in and out of the chair? I don't have any hesitation putting the full weight of my body and balancing it on the chair. So the chair does hold up to 400 pounds. It, it can definitely handle some pushing and some pulling. And the armrests, if we take a look at this armrest, it's actually slightly concave. 
so my arm more easily fits in the arm rest. So it's, it's comfortable, it's comfortable arm rest. I'll get out of the chair. We're gonna take a look at a few things actually in the chair. The chair itself has more of, it's not a, not a breathable mesh fabric, but it's a, it's a nice suede appearing fabric. It's, it's soft, a soft cushion, cushion removes. And we have a seat belt that is an adjustable seat belt attached to the chair. And like many of the chairs that we offer, it has an adjustable wiring harness. Okay, now I'm gonna point something out. We see the actuator right here. That's how the chair opens, that's how the chair closes. I'll get that out of the way. That's the mechanism that opens and folds the chair um, automatically. And with the seating harness, I can make it firm or I can make it soft. And I actually have the ability to adjust the lumbar as well. So we'll go ahead and, and get the seat belt kind of obscured out of the way again. I believe that material might be more vinyl. I don't it think it does. Suede. That's it yeah. It's, it's suede. yeah. It appears to be suede, but it's actually yeah. in reality, it's it's not real suede. It, it is a vinyl material. So if we and you can kind of get up nice and close here, water resistant. So that's that's a, a big plus for for people. And let's go ahead and turn the chair in in the back here. And let's take a look at a couple of the features of the chair. Now, there's some pros and there's some cons, okay? Some of the pros here, now, this, the seat harness itself, we, we get this out of the way. We can lift this up, okay, and we can adjust the firmness at the back here, of the seat harness. And we take a look at, we've got a couple of, a couple of levers right here. I can loosen these levers up if I want to on either side and I can actually adjust the actual seat. Do I want to lift the back up or do I want to keep the back where it is? So that's something that a lot of people are very happy with. People that are, are taller would, would like that feature or people that might not be so tall like the idea that they can kind of lift the chair down a little bit. You have two 250 watt motors here and the motors, of course, you have the ability to go into freewheel unlocked as a push chair and they, they lock up as well. So unlocked or locked. And I will point out, as always, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, the challenge with doing a chair that automatically folds and automatically unfolds is the in-frame battery design. They haven't perfected that yet. So you have an underseat 12 AH travel-friendly battery that is accessible from behind the chair. You've probably seen me make many videos where I refer to this as the backbreaker design, and I'll refer to this as the backbreaker design again. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. If you need to be in and out dealing with the battery on a regular basis, this probably is not the chair that you would want just because of this battery design. If you value the remote control and the ability for the chair to automatically unfold and fold, that would be the reason that you would consider the evaluation evolution. So let's take a look at a couple of the things actually behind the chair while we're here. These are totally adjustable. These kickstand wheels. I have a little notch that I can pull out and I can adjust these. So they just snap right into place. Some people think about them as anti-tip wheels. I like to call them more of kickstand wheels because that's their, their true function. And another thing that we will point out is the actual joystick. So we'll take a, I'll turn this chair around the front and we'll back it up a little bit here. And we take a look at the joystick and the front of the joystick is where you would be able to plug the charger in. It has a charging port that fits right into the joystick. If you never ever want to take the batteries out, or if you do take the battery out, you can indeed plug the charger directly into the battery outside of the chair. So however is convenient for you would be the way that you would do this, but I will advise that the battery outside of the chair means that there's no way that the chair would fold and unfold. So the chair needs the battery to fold or unfold, very important. 
Now the joystick, if I take the battery actually out of the chair, if I remove the battery from the chair, let's take a look underneath the armrest here, okay? So we have a little place there for the joystick to go. And if I take a look here, there's a nice little feature. You can, you can basically take this screw out, put that screw on the other side, without the battery here, pass the joystick right underneath the seat, so no wires to fiddle with your cut, and you can put the joystick on the other side. Now the actual slingshot for the joystick gives me the ability to have the joystick further away from the chair or closer to the chair. So I have probably a couple inches of, of playroom here with this particular design that I may not have with, with other chairs that have more of a fixed joystick. So that's, that's another area that, that somebody would actually really like this chair. So the positives so far, and I haven't even gotten to the measurements, without the battery it weighs 53 pounds, with the battery it weighs 50 pounds. It holds up to 400 pounds, up to 400 pounds. It is a remote control chair. It automatically folds, it automatically unfolds, and you can use it with this remote control up to 100 feet away from the chair itself. We have built into the chair, storage in the back of the chair. We have storage bags in the arms of the chair, mesh storage bags. We have a seat, that a cushion. It's, it's very easy to keep this cushion clean. We have an adjustable harness, a seating harness adjustable lumbar area and we can actually of course we can fully adjust the seat belt that's that's simple that's easy it's easy to get the seat belt totally out of the way and we can actually lift the back bar up and put the back bar down all great features another thing that people like about this chair it is considered to be more of a discount chair some people are looking for a discount these days an hd chair that holds up to 400 pounds that is not quite as high of a price as some of the other chairs. If you're a discount shopper, this is a chair that you will definitely want to consider. If you're looking at our YouTube video, there's a hyperlink in the description underneath the video that will take you directly to the actual page the chair is on so you can look at pricing. We never put pricing in our videos and why? Sometimes things change. Sometimes things drop. Sometimes things increase. Sometimes we have sales. Some people are frustrated by that, but in the, in the description underneath the video, we always have a hyperlink to the product so you can look at current pricing. Let's take a look at a couple more things here with the chair before I get into actual measurements of the chair. We have uh, eight inch solid polyurethane front tires, front wheels. You can see the DuraShock and those are pretty sturdy wheels. And if we take a look at the back wheels here, Back wheels are a little bit different, okay? These right now, with this current incarnation of the chair, and there's probably only about another couple hundred of them that, that are gonna be like this before they swap this out to the actual solid polyurethane. These have the air-filled tires. Some people like the air-filled tires, and if you're using this chair more for inside driving, or if you're using this chair more for a sidewalk and, and that would be about it, or if you're, if you're going to take this chair to the doctor or anything like that, these tires can offer a little bit softer of a ride than the solid polyurethane tires, but you have to be careful with the air-filled tires because you can pop them. So if you drive over a tack, you hit a, a jagged edge, you, you drop or drive into something that is sharp, it can compromise the tire and then you have a bit of an issue on your hands. So let's take a look at a, a few of the other features here. Of course, we've got the fender. Let's take a look at some of the height features. We'll start out with the front of the armrest to the actual ground. So let's take a look at some of the simple and obvious measurements. Looks like that's about 30 inches tall, armrest level. Back of the armrest is about 28 inches. That just means the chair is ergonomically designed. On its lowest setting, we have about 39 inches. The back of the actual, uh, the, the back backrest guard. there, or the back guard. We take a look at the height of the, the actual knob of the joystick. We're at about 35 inches. 
And if we take a look at the uh, seat, let's take a look at the width of the seat here. We have the seat cushion is about 18 inches, about 17 and a half inches wide. And the seat cushion is going to be, it looks like about 17 and a half inches deep. And then if we take a look from the top of the seat cushion to the top of the back of the chair in its lowest setting, it is about 18 and a half inches. And if we take a look in between the, the space in between the armrests, we're looking at 21 inches of space. A full 21 inches of, well, no, I can't do that. That's an improper measurement. 18 and a half inches of space in between the armrests and outside of the armrests, we're looking at 23 inches. I'm sorry. So again, inside the armrests, 18 and a half inches of space. Now from the armrest to the joystick or the back of the chair to the joystick, we're at about 19 inches and 23 inches to the front of the joystick. Let's take a look at the wheels. The rear wheels are about a little bit over 12 inches, looks like about 12 and a half inches. And they are, how, how thick are they? They are about two inches thick. Okay, outside fender to outside fender. This is gonna give you the overall width of the chair, 24 inches. So if you're considering your, the doorways in your house, you would need about 26 inches of space in order to get in and out of the doorways. Width, that is. And I've made videos about how to take these chairs in and out of doorways. The actual foot rest is going to be, it's standard, 12 inches wide. How, how much does it stick out from the chair? Approximately 11 inches. If I'm gonna angle this down and the front of the foot rest to the top of the seat at an angle, that's all I can do, it's 20 inches. If I go ahead and take a look at the top of the seat to the ground, real important one for people, that is 20 and a half inches, just under 21 inches. If I remove the seat and I look at the actual frame itself, I'm looking at about 17 and a half inches, okay? See, this is why I removed the basket from the chair with this video. It just makes it easier to kind of take a look at some of the other things here. Um, front caster to front caster, we're looking at 21 inches of space here. And I think that that is going to be some of the important ones. Well, one more important one, people wanna know how, how long the chair is. Okay, so let's take a look. And I, I can't really totally see if we're... Go towards you a little bit more. Okay, so... Okay, about there. About there. Okay, so we're looking at about, with the footrest down, about 39 inches of 39. width. Okay. So we've got a few of those uh, ideas taken care of. The Sensi Touch joystick, you can go in all different directions with the joystick. And let's go ahead and look at a couple of the folded dimensions themselves. So we'll get the chair ready to fold up. I don't know if I've, if I've missed anything. If there's anything that, that I could go a little bit more. But you know what? There's one thing that people are going to ask me. And that is going to be what is the height of the chair. If I extend this the whole way. That just so, extends the back bar. It does not make the seat height higher. It does extend the back bar. The bar is to hold on. And the, the issue here would be you would lose your lumbar support. So you could, you could make a harness higher up here and you would have to tighten that up. But look, you would, you would lose your, your lumbar support there. So there is a bit of a trade-off and this is about as high as I would ever put this. Looking at about 40, 42 to 43 inches. For somebody tall, this gets to be a really big deal. And we do have people that are, that are tall that want to be driving these chairs. So I'll go ahead and, and put that back down. I've kind of demonstrated a lot of the adjustability features. And now I'm going to press the closed button there and then press the horn. So I just press that until it turns color. Press the horn, the chair is automatically going to fold up. It 
So if I move this out of the way, of course, the chair is going to be, if I take the cushion out a little bit more narrow, I've got about 17 inches high right now. I still have the same 24 inches of space as, as far as how wide the chair goes. If I lift the chair up here, which I can do very easily, there's two measurements that I'm going to look at. There's with the joystick, and the joystick can very easily be removed. What are we at? We're about 38, 39 inches. 38. About 38, and then if I look at the back of the chair, if I took the joystick off, I'm at 29 inches. 29. So 29, and then 38 and a half. So there you have it, folks. That's the evaluation, evolution, evolution, evaluation. It is, and let's just, before we close, I mean, we'll take a look at the weld marks here. It's, it's a, a quality chair. There's been great weld marks. You can see everything that we're talking about underneath the chair. You can see the quality welds here that are in the footrest. Just as all the chairs that we have, we, we filter out the chairs. We listen to people once. We listen to their desires. We listen to their needs. And we do the very best that we possibly can to deliver. If you want to know more about the evaluation evolution, please feel welcome to visit quicknmobile.com or give us a telephone call. You can also look in the description underneath the video on YouTube and you'll get a link directly to the chair itself. Quick and Mobile, thank you for watching.